Now, the other device that we're using, which is usually the, the first recommendations, and it's called this sedentary wedge or stress wedge. Uh, basically, it's this foam or high density foam is four inches high on one side and one inch high to three quarters of an inch high in the front. It's, it's approximately uh, 14 to 15 inches wide. Uh, it's designed to go to the back of the chair to create more of a forward slope uh, in order to help the pelvic girdle tilt more forward so you're sitting more on a slope. So go ahead and sit on there right now. Linda. So basically this allows more of a, a, a curve in the pelvic girdle. Uh, you can combine that with a pad or a lumbar support in conjunction. The two do help to help produce a better lumbar curve. Um, at times though, some individuals, if they're overweight, we may have to combine two of the wedges. Uh, if there's one hip that is lower than another, then what we do, let's stand right up, is we'll take the wedge and twist it, it forward. If the hip is low on the left, we will twist the wedge forward two inches on the left side to shim up the left side. If the hip is low on the right, we'll shift it forward two inches on the right to elevate the hip on the right hand side. Now, if the individual is overweight, over 200 to 250 pounds, then what we'll do is we'll actually add this on one side just as we're doing there. So this will help lift that pelvic girdle that's low on, on one side. Now, I do use a marker such as this uh, to indicate rotating the wedge forward on the left side two inches. And then we also ask the patient to walk uh, with their uh, right shoe. In this case here, it's forward on the right. Walk with right shoe on, and on your uh, recommendations, it can range between three to five minutes. I would not go over five minutes, but not under three minutes. So indicate three to five minutes. And the patient should do this three to five times per day. And that uh, we want to use a one to one and a half inch heel shoe. So the combination of this along with the walking protocol with the one shoe on and one shoe off, again you're lifting the side that is low, the pelvic girdle if it's low on the left you're lifting the left, if it's low on the right you're lifting the right. Uh, again asking that they don't go over the five minute interval but no less than three minutes. Uh, if it's quite severe, they can do the procedure every hour on the hour, but to do more than five minutes can cause injury to the joints of the spine. Now, one added note regarding the wedge, if the person has tailbone pain, then we do notch out this uh, space for the tailbone, and this allows more comfort for them uh, while sitting. That's it.